Hello Sagittarius and Sagittarius Rising and those of you with Sagittarius Moon. Uh, this is your Angel Oracle Card reading for February 2014 and I am using the Angel Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. And in honor of Valentine's Day, I am doing something a little different this month. I am going to attach a love scope to this video. So that will be coming towards the end, so stay tuned. And as I was shuffling, um, one card jumped out here. So we got that one. We're just going to take three more and we will see what comes up. And one of them flopped right out. So there's another one. Two jumpers. The first jumper that we had was two of air. This keeps coming up for a lot of signs. And I'm going to go back to my original interpretation from the first time it popped up for for one sign. The card says, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. This really feels like for a lot of people, the conflict between the old you and the new you. And there might be some resistance either within you or resistance around you from family members or people, um, people who just want you to stay the same because they just love you so much they don't want you changing. Um, the more obvious interpretation of this card is that you're presented with two choices that, and, and you just you just are unable or uh, excuse me unable to make a decision and so you just make no decision at all and you just uh, put the blindfold on. Okay, in traditional tarot, this is the two swords and the person with the blindfold on. Okay, just not wanting to face it. So this is. A push from the angel saying we see what you're going through we understand but you'll be called to make a decision so so don't bury your head in the sand you got to move forward okay next card up we have eight of fire it says events moving at a fast pace that's why you can't delay too long with this decision okay because things are gonna be moving pretty fast delays are over many things happening at once so even if you're feeling overwhelmed by this energy they're saying roll with it choke it down okay yes it might be uncomfortable but there's really there's good reason for it to be uncomfortable there's there's a reason why you're being pushed in a certain direction even if it doesn't make sense to you now it will okay so this is where your faith really has to come into play and you have to really get centered and tune into your instincts so that you know what to do because things are going to be moving on without you if you don't jump on the bandwagon and make some decisions, okay? Next card we have the Empress. Yay, what a beautiful card. It's Archangel Gabriel. It says lavish abundance. Lavish abundance, okay? Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Oh, what a great card. <laughs> That's really great. Lavish abundance. Okay, so even though you're going to be going through this period of discomfort, maybe, in, in moving forward and doing making decisions, hard, tough decisions, it's going to be tricky with Mercury retrograde in February. So just be mindful of that energy. You don't want to sign contracts or anything like that. But what this is saying is that, and, and it's in the lineup here, that once you make that decision, once you release that energy and you're flowing, you will flow forward and, and you'll know exactly how to how to ride along with with the with the current and then here's your reward okay the abundance take the abundance man don't just sit there with a blindfold on <laughs> you'll miss all the good stuff so the final card we have is the dreamer archangel metatron it says a leap of faith follow your dreams unexpected opportunities did we see a dream card before no Oh, yeah, we did right before. It says give birth to your dreams. And here, here it is, the dreamer. So let your mind wander. Open your heart. Release yourself from um, preconceived notions about who you, who you think you are, who you've been up until now. Because there's a new you unhatching. <laughs> or hatching at this point I guess I should say it's hatching it's coming out of your shell it's I will stop with the bad analogies okay I promise but this is just this there's freedom in this and and it's a release hold on one second okay oh gosh there's a few th different things coming in here at once so 
they're showing me nature and um yeah that for for you guys this is going to somehow be really imperative to your creativity mm, keeping keeping your channels clear so you can move forward having one foot anchored in reality and one in the dream world there's a lot coming through with this card because there's a, well because the dreamer is is sort of unstructured and so there's a lot of you out there that the interpretation it would be very specific and very different for each one of you but there's a few examples of what this card can mean this can also be you know quite obviously just follow your dreams just follow your dreams and go ahead and and live your life and and go after the things that you want because it's your soul calling out because it wants to be released okay it wants to come out and be its authentic self so honor that okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this and of course stay tuned for the love scope see you in a bit hello sagittarius welcome to the february 2014 valentine's day special oracle card reading whatever whatever we're calling this <laughs> welcome and we're going to start off with the uh, Romance Angels Oracle Card deck from Doreen Virtue. And then we will move on to this deck, which is why I'm even doing these videos. Um, because this was on my shelf. And it's just too perfect for Valentine's Day. So I was like, i got to bust out the red dress. I got my little heart-shaped rose quartz on. I got, some I, got, I got my love altar back there. Hey, I had everything I needed to do this video. So let's get moving. Let's see what's going on for you. I'm just going to pull three cards. And the first card up is give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. Okay. So this will be the month to really take stock of where you are in love, what you want, and where you're going to head. And are you going to take the person that you're with, with you? And if you're single, are you going to remain single? Like it's, it's really giving yourself a chance too, like give yourself a chance to really figure out what it is that you want so you know how to ask for what you want because then what are you going to do you're going to go to the angels right of course you are of course you are and you're going to ask them to help you find love or to help you find the love in an existing relationship so give it a chance put the effort into it okay next card up we have romantic feelings so if you do this work you give your relationship a chance you will be reigniting passion in existing relationships or you will be bringing in someone new <coughs> there's this huge belief that um if there's a cough or a sneeze or an extraneous noise or something during a message that there is um deeper meaning to that so romantic feelings let's just get into that so your feelings are real and worth exploring don't be shy if this is somebody who might be older than you or younger that could be younger i feel like it's more like older than you but it could could go the other way but there's an age difference um or there's a cultural difference or something okay don't be afraid to be a little forward not pushy but a little forward and you're gonna say i do like you i do have feelings for you you know um and and watch what happens when when you express yourself okay and you allow yourself to have those romantic feelings don't be blocked off to it all right this is a magical month for love so let it in okay final card we have stay optimistic about your love life and it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so we were just saying stay positive know that it's happening know that it's coming and know that you're safe to open and heal your heart i feel like i need to say this if some of you need to heal from um, a breakup okay there are some crystals that you can get like i have um kunzite here this is it looks clear i suppose on on camera but it's light pink okay quartz rose quartz it, of course is perfect for that ruby garnet um aventurine you know greens pinks these are nice things to help you heal your heart so someone needed to hear that bit of information and maybe you were curious about crystals um, but stay optimistic, okay? One breakup does not mean that every relationship going forward is going to fail, okay? It just means that it's getting you closer to perfection in love, 
because you're learning something from every single breakup. So thank God. Thank God. Thank God for sending that person to you, teaching you those lessons, whether they were painful or not, and then sending that person on their way because you just opened yourself up for more love to come in. Okay, so let's go to these adorable oracle cards. They're the size of business cards. <laughs> and let's see what else we have for you. I find them a little hard to shuffle. They love to just jump right out of my hands. Okay. Let's see, first card up we have is love is true. Love is true. So if you're in a relationship and, and you're not feeling the love, love doesn't need to be questioned. Love is obvious. Love is true, okay? So when you're in an actual love, pure love relationship, there's no need to lie. There's no need to hide. You can just be your authentic self. So think about that in the month of February and, and, and see, see sort of kind of what comes up for you, okay? Love begins within. This came up for somebody else too. So this is a huge reminder to love yourself first. And then when that beautiful love lightens and brightens your soul and your soul comes to the surface, that's when you can find your true love and, and they will be a vibrational match to yours. Okay, but you gotta raise your vibration by loving yourself first. And the next card is love knows. Love knows your heart. Love knows what you like, okay? Um, love knows you on a very, very deep soul level, okay? So keep this in mind as you're choosing love partners because I think you'll have some options and you want to use this to kind of um, figure out who will be the best person to um, mix with your energy. Okay, so I hope you guys had fun. This was fun for me. And uh, of course, I'm sending you all of my love. And I hope you have a really beautiful month. Take care. Bye-bye.